Hello everybody, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial! Well, we are finally reaching the end of the inside of our Super Walmart, our Walmart Super Center. So, let me get it open and we will get started here as soon as I get my intro out of the way for you two. <coughs> What's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the last of our super, of our super center. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally finishing up the entire back room of our super center. By the way, I am going to take this wall down because I think that's a little butts. So I'm going to go ahead and take this wall down real quick. And open up some of the area here. So, if you guys haven't done that already, go ahead and do it. Basically, it's going to break down the entire wall you just built. Now, if you haven't made the wall, then that's okay. So in this video, we'll be doing every single room in the back room. We'll also be going to in the like the maintenance closet, the and as we go along, we'll work on the floors. All right. So the first thing we're gonna work on, and hold on just a minute, guys, and I'll I gotta get repair this real quick. I uh, broke this right here. There we go. So the first thing we're gonna build is the associate lounge. So the associate lounge is gonna be made out of. I'm gonna get rid of these. We'll use stone brick. Oak doors. Um trying to think. Uh we're gonna use a white concrete winner. So we're gonna use blue. We're gonna use blue. A blue con oh. A blue concrete color scheme and uh, we're going to need a few other things so we're going to use a black concrete some note blocks Uh, we're going to use paintings. I can find it. And of course, we're also going to use oak, wood, play, uh, stairs, maybe an oak wood fence oak presser plate cauldron to our hook buttons and um, we do want to make some kind of cell, so we're going to use 
black sulker boxes, and I'm trying to think. We also want like a so we're gonna use wood plate, not wood planks, but wood oak wood slabs. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to is we're going to just from this wall, we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to place. And we'll place it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then place the door. Place another one. And also, you want to dig down. Use blue concrete. You place two more, and you're gonna place it like that. Actually, I think we're gonna make it a little bigger than that. So instead of that, we're gonna place two more. There, perfect. And we'll place the door right here. Fill it up. Using stone bricks this is your associate lounge you know this is where people take a break Yeah, we'll keep that area blank. I'm trying to think if I want to make it bigger. You know what? We'll make it. We'll make it. We're gonna make the associate lounge um, big. Cause so I want to place a lot of stuff in here, basically. Door. And then we need a couple of these. So, this is going to be how big our. Uh, actually, do it that way. There you go. Alright, now we're going to come in here. I'm going to move this door a little bit more, I think. Maybe to right here. And then we'll place that and that. Alright, so once you get that done, what you're going to do is you're going to dig out the entire room. Oh, you know what else we need? Coffee maker. I'll do that here in a minute. Yeah. 
to go to place blue concrete all the way around. Now the other areas we're going to be make using, um, I think we're going to use stone bricks for most of it, but for some of it we'll use uh, different color schemes, basically. Alright, so, the TV that's going to go here is going to be made of, uh, actually, Two note blocks, black concrete, Hold on. and then there. Oh. We're going to be placing two couches. So one here. You can make it as big. As, oh, you can make it as big as you want. You don't even have to make it this way. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna get rid of. Uh, we're gonna get rid of blue. We we'll still need our um, stairs. We're gonna need cauldrons. We're gonna need stove buttons. We're gonna need trip bar hooks. Um, and one thing I did put in the list: oak planks. Um. Black soaker boxes and awkward slabs. So to the right one two go right go one, two, three, four, five, place a cauldron. Place two next to it, place two oak blocks next to it. Oh um hold on. Plug this in here. Very level slow. Says. There. And place a tip of hook. That kind of looks like a sink. Above here, place soaker boxes. Like so. How much you want. Alright, to the right of this, go place a little. Um, actually, go. Yeah, but. We'll, no, we'll place it here. Place an upside down oak wood stair. Place one, two, three, four, five oak planks. Place another upside down oak wood stair. Now, however, you can use this as whatever you want. Back here, we're going to place um, a countertop. I'm going to place a few more soaker boxes. And on the left, and I'm going to need some other materials, so we're going to get rid of all of these since we're done with them. And we're going to need red concrete. Uh, we're going to need I think what we need. Um, we're going to need awkward planks. We're going to need. We're going to need buttons. We're going to need cocoa beans. Can I find the cocoa beans? I just can't find them sometimes. Hold on. Um, we're going to need... We're going to need... Ball, uh, 
uh, not balls, but uh, flower pots. I'm going to kind of do it around there. I'm also going to eat oak wood stairs, oak wood fence, and oak. Uh, press the plate. Place three. Actually, we're making four. Four. Um, oak wood planks. Place one, two, three, and then place it four across. And we're going to place a cup underneath. And I also forgot we need a hopper. So get out your hopper. In fact, I'll look for it. Oh, it's all to be. There it is. We're going to place a hopper underneath. That looks like you put uh, coffee grounds in there. Place two buttons. And I also forgot the iron frame. Don't forget your iron frame because you're going to need it. And we're going to. Uh, We'll get rid of this for a minute. Place a chicks frame, cocoa beans. Looks like coffee. Okay, so around the area, we're gonna place a bunch of tears. So maybe one right actually. We'll make a couple of these. Around the area. Oops. And that, my friends, is your associate lounge. Alright, now we're gonna move on to the outside place and we're going to make some more uh, rooms. Alright. Go through all those materials and get out your stove bricks, glass pane, quartz stairs, Bert's fence. Seven, and then we're gonna place. Oh crap! Okay, I'm gonna move this door again because, well, it's gonna kind of block away. Uh oh! Oh crap! Crap! Fine. Right. We'll place the door here. Alright. That's as big as I want, actually. And I'm gonna place the door there. Oh. Hold on. Actually, no! That looks perfect. We're gonna place a 
parallel window. Replace that by two. This way you can look inside and see what's going on. Basically. Depending on size, you can place as. You know what? I think I'm going to make this a little bigger. Not. You no. Know, longer, but maybe wider. So we want the. This one to be big enough. So maybe back here by three more. And then on the inside, oh, and what else we need? We're going to need chairs. And we're also going to need Actually, no. We won't need that. We've only got a chair, so. Let's use Smooth quartz. So I also forgot. Uh, I don't think what else we need. I think that's about. Oh, and we're gonna need press the plate and a button. So we'll use with press the plate button. All right. Come inside, and we're going to pl place this using stone brick. You can also replace the uh, under the door as well. Is it using stone brick? Now we're gonna make a couple of desks. So we're gonna place. Actually, we're gonna place it a couple of. Uh, we'll place it right here. So one. Two, three, four, five, and then place the letter upside down. Of course, there. And then we're going to place another all the way around. Actually, we'll place it right there. Because th this is like the boss's lounge, okay? Like, let, let, let's say you come in here and uh, you need to talk to you. There we go. Sitting at the computer, let's say, you know. You, hmm. Okay, I'm going 
go back to small out real quick. And what we're going to do here is, uh, fun to those. Or I'm gonna go move this one a little bit. Because this one is gonna be uh, the last one we'll build. Oops. There we go. Alright, and done. And put a, put a tear here or a Put stair, and you can place a couple of stairs here. All right. Now we're gonna move on, and we're gonna leave that bear here because uh, we're gonna make that into something else. Now, in my store, we actually have one, what a security room right next to it. But since we don't have enough room. Let's go on to make the security office a couple of worlds away from it. So we're going to need stone bricks, a glass pane, and a door. We're also going to grab soccer boxes again, because we're going to need those. Don't think we're going to need them. We're going to use black again. Uh, we're going to use. I'm trying to think. I might use some more tables and the more uh, chairs, but this time this is also an academy room now. Basically, where you learn stuff in these things. This is also where you get your equipment too. Yes, me anyway. All right. So from this door, count two O's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then one, two, three, four, oh, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't want it too big, because the next room is going to be really big. I mean, big, because it's going to be, it's going to contain the training room. Where you learn, you know, your computer-based training or computer-based. 
nice learning. Say it before. The only thing we're going to be doing in the receiving area is pretty, e pretty easy. So, let's go do that. And there's also going to be a maintenance area back here too. Let's get to that in a minute. The reason why um, I'm doing this room by room is because it makes it a lot easier to build the rooms individually. Alright. So, to the right of here, we're going to place a big stack of soaker boxes. On this back wall, we're going to place an upside down. Oakwood stair. One, two. Yeah, one, two, three, four, four, five, and then upside down. Oakwood stair. Actually, need <laughs> a couple of um, bricks, trap doors, <sighs> and we'll get that stuff out here in a minute. So we'll go place a couple of chairs, maybe one here, and one here, and then you can place a couple of chairs in the back. And then we're going to take out, I completely forgot about this, our Press the plates and stone buttons. So, I'll place that and that. Press the plate in front, button in the left. Same thing with this. And then we also need our painting. There's also another option you can do, but it's up to you if you want to use it. Alright, so. There. And there. And. I'm going to keep these for a few minutes. Because we're going to go ahead and um, do this whole floor in stone brick again. Now 
Now some of these rooms are different colored. So if you want, you can do whatever color you want. Last but not least, now we're going to make the train. Alright, so, we're going to come over here, where this ends. We're going to place one, two of those. We're going to count over by th four, over by three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Place stone bricks in front. And then back here is a manager's office. Manager's office that's that big, so what we'll do is just we'll make it. <sighs> this is a train. And this is where you, you know, you learn how to work at Walmart, basically. You know, you learn how to do your job, basically. I've been in the manager's office a couple times, so I don't know how, what it looks like. Because being a maintenance person, you kind of have to know uh, what things been done in their life. Um, I've had to clean out their trash cans before. And don't worry, it's not bad. Mostly managers are pretty good about cleaning up it. Okay, so we're going to get out our open stairs, our uh, oak planks, first trap doors, smooth quartz stairs, weighted pressure plates, and stone buttons. Oh, and we want to replace all this with stone brick. Alright, stone brick, again, we're going to just completely tear up the floor. So we're going to place this door a little bit to the left, maybe, maybe right here. Alright. As you walk in, there's a couple of desks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to place an upside down upward stair. Actually... What we're going to do here is we're going to 
make it a little easier for me, so we're going to place those like that, and then, boom, oh. come on, and then, place a couple of these, So we're going to make it three computers. So one, two, three. Ready to press the plate button. Ready to press the plate button. Ready to press the plate button. Now, however, however, there's a desk. In the back of this, for the uh, training coordinator, two, three, four, and then place it upside down. Look what's there? Oh yeah, we need to place uh, stairs here too. Here's the good news about this. this, come behind it, place a press the plate, then a button, and then there, perfect, and there is your room. Now, there are a couple of uh, tables, so we're going to get out, take out our, uh, stairs do what you do right here and whatever you want you see fit the place here your place and there you go there is your train We have one more thing left to build, and that is the manager's office. The manager's office is going to be one room away from the training room. And we're going to make it that small because the manager's office isn't all that big. He or she doesn't need it that big, so. One more thing before we move on to the um, receiving area. And 
idea is we're going to replace all the floors um, using Okay. Let's see if I want to play some one more on that. There, perfect. <sighs> place a court stair on top. going to work is we're going to place a couple of these in front. Let's see. One more. <sighs> Dude, do me a favor. Stop placing it underneath. cans in each room. So maybe one in here. We're going to leave those open, unlike the ones we have around the uh, area. Now, the one at my Walmart, as you come in, there is three of them. So one, two, three. Each of those are like for trash and, um, I guess you could say they're kind of like for plastic cans and stuff like that. Alright, so now we're going to make the, oh, I just want to, uh, So now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of fill up this back room. There are going to be a few other things I'm going to do here. And I'll say what we're going to do with these. And we're going to use, so we're going to need uh, stove mix, bright gray circle boxes. Uh, we're going to use white glazed terracotta. We're going to use a triple hook buttons. I think that's it. So, the stone bricks are. I don't know if we can start stinking biking. Or four. 
everyone else need white soccer boxes. And I'll say, what we're going to do with the white soccer boxes. Here in a minute. Well, let's just say these are for like. Oh, you know what else I need? I'll get that in a minute. I just forgot about it, too. Well, it's going to need... Gray... Concrete... And a... I might just use a cauldron for this. That's what I wanted to... Uh, what I gotta replace this real quick. Doors. I'll say what we want to do here in this bit. So, oh, and we're gonna need some kind of. We're gonna need a pumpkin and a white wool. And I'll see what we're gonna do with those. So I'm gonna get a pumpkin. If I can find it here. There we go. There's a pumpkin and white wool. And we also need a fence. Alright. Okay, you can see why we're doing that here in Smith. out. Basically all you're going to do is you're going to replace all this with uh, some brick. My internet is holds up. Place one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to kind of connect it all the way around. Not a tub, this is for the maintenance area. And we'll come back to this in here in a minute. Let's 
scout it out where we're going to place stuff. Make our way forwards after this part. Got some. We'll do that tomorrow, I think. But for now, it's focusing more on making the backwards. I think we'll just go ahead and uh, do the freezer sections tomorrow. I realized we forgot a few things, so. But I did want to get the back room done. Get out since he threw them all the way. Jeez. Light gray circle boxes, white circle boxes. White circle boxes are basically. Oh, hold on. Are going to be like for inf important stuff, like, you know, like the. Hi, what's up? And then on the and on the left, a little bit further, we're gonna place oh, and uh stop opening them. Stop up op stop opening them please. These are gonna be like lockers. And we're gonna place a couple You're not gonna make this easy, are you? Jackass. Alright. So. Oh, I'm making 
in uh, the inside of Walmart, basically, the back room. Right. And those are going to be your lockers, basically. like a drain, basically. Alright. So, on the back wall, we're going to place mops and brooms. That looks like a mop. This looks like a broom. Kind of. Now, we have this cart we push around, too. It's a cleaning cart. So I'll place that, place a couple of great concretes. Um, we also gonna need buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a hopper on top. Buttons on the front to make it look like you can wheel it. And that. And of course in a couple of these. I know it looks kind of funky, but... That, that looks like a clean machine. And we're going to place cauldrons around that looks like the buckets we wheel around. Whew. Okay, so that takes care of the uh, back room. Alright, so. Now we're going to move into the receiving area. Wait, no, no we're not. completely forgot about this. So, we're not going to move into the receiving area, but we are going to move into the next room. We're going to need, again, stone picks, doors, because we're going to have to knock them out again, and uh, bookshelves. If you haven't marked these out, go ahead and do so. Same with this one. I'm just going to do that like that. So. So I will have to take time to uh, switch it out.
as hard as it should be. Go ahead and do the uh my mind calls up because I really want to finish this up today. cut doors but I was thinking, maybe what we could do, I think we'll do this tomorrow, is we'll turn some of these into phasers. So back here, we're going to make... I was hoping to get this done by tomorrow, but... Eh. I don't think we are. I 
it's not that I don't have time to, I just want to be done with this part. Yeah. There we go. Alright. Okay, we're gonna make two machines. So we're going to get rid we're gonna get rid of our doors and we're gonna use stone bricks. We're gonna use redstone dust.
you're going to do is you're going to leave a little window. I think we're going to make a window right here. Because we want to throw your stuff in there. And then you're going to place your... Oh, hang on. And it looks like it's come back to something. Like your little, um... Baylor. And we're going to place a window here, I think. Place a window. Right. Here. Actually, no. We're going to place glass blocks. Because that kind of looks different. Yeah, that's gonna be wide enough. Okay, no, actually that's not gonna work because we want that open. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, they can squeeze through. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do. And we're gonna have to make a double door here. Anyway, so that's how we realized that. Bell here um, tomorrow. I think. Okay, do it there. All right, so come forward a couple of uh, a couple of those. Thank you, and then. Uh, Place. Anyway, it's still dust. No 
place that there. And we're not gonna make it as big, so. to take that um, last one, we're going to move it back another row. Ah! See what happens now. Oh. Mm. What if I move this down? What if we want to just move it down? Okay. And then. Okay, there we go. Alright, alright, alright. I think we got it. Okay, let's click it off and see what happens. Hey! Alright! It compacts. Nice! How awesome is that? Alright! Awesome! Alright. There we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is... I think we got enough time to do one more thing. I, I think we really do. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of all these. And what we're going to do... And we'll do the... Uh, if we have enough time, we'll... Uh, So, here's what you're going to do. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to make it so we can walk in. But, I 
However, behind these are going to be funnies is going to be a bunch of um, food items. I'm going to break these all out real quick. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's 
Buster plates and a button. Oh. Buster plate and a button. Alright, so. I'm going to make a little workstation here. And place a that there and then that button. place a couple of freezers. This is where the OZP has their uh, free frozen stuff, basically. So, one, two, three. And actually... I'll make the back of the wall real quick. And, uh, again, we'll just do what we did before to make the, uh, freezers. Dude, if you don't stop not building, we're gonna have a fight. Thank you. Alright. On the back walls, place a bunch uh, and three on each section. Uh, you can place whatever you want in here. I'm going to place maybe some food, a few of them, maybe some milk, and a few of them. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to place chicken pork top. So chicken. Pork top, and one more. I think we'll do it. And we're gonna place. I think we're gonna place beef in there. And then tomorrow we'll work on the frozen sex in the. Uh, other sections of the area, and then uh, we'll be done. So, beef, and then on this side, maybe water and milk. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Alright, so, I'm gonna take, um, actually, let's take that out. Maybe some amount of meat in there, too. So, we're gonna take that out. And we're going to place mutton in there again. And then bucket of water, bucket of milk. And these are the other ones. Okay, so hey, you can, this is for milk, this is for water. Alright, so water. Come on. Button on top. Button on top. Water. Milk. And then for lace, yourself a couple of stuff like that. Oh, okay, ladies and gentlemen. So that is it. Actually, you know what? I think I will make these. Freezers in this other section. So, uh, as much as I want to quit right now, I do want to finish. So, so we're going to need um, I'm gonna get take all these out real quick. I'm going to need stone bricks, uh, meat. Some bread. Oh, yes, two kinds of meat. Alright. So. From the deli, we're going to count one, two, three, four. And place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then. 
place all that on top. Actually, we're going to make it five. Because we're going to make it a double fit. Or six. Make it a double fit. So, three, four, five, six. We're going to make this... Actually, we're going to make this into a double fit. Or freezer. And uh, we're also going to make this... frames again so we're gonna take our iron frames one right here and you guys can decide on what you want to place it I might place bread to make it look like oh hey that's pizza you know we're going to make this into a pizza. Um, um, or you can also use this like frozen bread and stuff like that. You know? And we're going to So I think next section we'll go make it to ice cream. So uh, we'll go place uh, our Don't eat it. Dude, do I have to smack your hand? Sheesh. And then we're gonna place one more. And this one is gonna be three rows. I 
don't think we're going to make this work. You're trying my patience. You really are. We're going to get a snowball out. Oh, and we might, you know, we might use some cookies, maybe some cakes. That's what we'll do. So, cookies, uh, cakes, pies. All right. And um, what we're going to do is make this into the frozen um, dessert section, basically. If that makes sense. So, behind here. I think I'm just going to leave this without this other side. So, so, maybe cakes on the top. Maybe pies on the bottom. And cookies on the bottom as well. And then, cover it up. Think and then we're gonna place one more behind here. Do the same thing. <laughs> Stupid knock it off now. Is it knock it off? The rest of the uh, other stuff, and we'll be done. Oh, oh, I forgot one more thing. We'll get that in just a minute here. So, um, bookshelves. going to use whatever egg. Maybe you want to use a, a chicken egg. So we we'll use, use a chicken. So, and um, oh, and we'll need still picks. Okay, so I'm going to leave it above two, and then place a couple of rows of cells. Again, same thing as before, just We're going to go into the other one and I'll change it out for milk. So we're going to make the one for milk real quick. And then uh, we'll uh, be done, I think. Gosh, we're almost done. Can you believe that? After nine, epi after seven episodes, we're done. Whew. Took a while, didn't it?
I'm going to change out the, uh, the frozen meat here for, uh, milk. That makes sense. Let's hope it does. After I get the, uh, eggs. Maybe not placing one tomorrow's. Yeah, I think we'll do it. That'll be good. So, okay, so you're gonna place an entire row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And put three on top and four on top. Extend that row out by two. The good news about this thing is what we're going to do um I'm thinking just maybe making it so you can grab, reach in and grab the eggs basically. That's all I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do it to where you can you know reach in make it look like you can reach in and grab an egg. That's what we'll do. Alright. And we're going to make this a little bigger. Just a tad. Just a tad. Just a tad. Alright. And maybe sorting it. Because, again, we're going to make this to where, you know, you can wait in and grab it. Make it look like you can, so. Not mean to spawn one. I meant to place these in the item frames. And if you've done it right, you now have your entire Walmart establishment. Well, we're done, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and do something real quick. I'm going to grab some milk. Because, um, I'm going to. And by the way, you can place whatever you want on those. But for now, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tomorrow, we will work on... Oh, hang on. The... Trucks that come in to Walmart. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry, my, uh, I thought I plugged this in. Guess not. Anyway, like I was going to say, we're going to place milk inside of all these. And, um, I think that's what we're going to call it quits, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow, we are going to work on the trucks that, going, that you can build that will um, bring in the produce and stuff like that. And there we go. Um, I'm, I think that's about it. Alright, so let's take a look at a completed Walmart that is completely done. Alright. So, we're going to just take a big old tour. Hold your hats, ladies and gentlemen.
as we take a look at my awesome Walmart Supercenter build. Starting from the outside. go outside to take a look at the outside and we'll start from there so this is what your Walmart will look like oh I forgot <laughs> the actual outside of Walmart actually I forgot we still have one more thing to do and I'll do that tomorrow I forgot but anyway we'll just do that tomorrow I forgot we have to do our um, garden center but again tomorrow <laughs> We'll do that tomorrow, and then, and we'll also do the trucks, which will be the last part. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorials on, uh, my tutorial on the back rooms. Yeah, that was kind of fun to do. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Like, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, to make sure you are notified when I have a brand new video up and if you have not followed me on Twitch make sure you are following me on there I have a lot I mean a lot of cool videos that are on there and I have still so many left to come later on anyway especially the uh, trucks are going to go on the right side of this Walmart. Whew, that was a lot of work. We're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. We got two more things we gotta do. We'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you then. Goodbye. And goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching on Twitch.